Kira Kira means shining or glittering in Japanese, and that is precisely what the Newbery Medal winning novel by Cynthia Katohara does. The story begins in rural Iowa, where Katie Takshima and her family lives. Her parents run the local oriental grocery store, while Katie spends her time playing with her older sister, Lynn, whom she adores. Truly, this deep connection between sisters brings a youthful lightness and emotional depth to the story. Due to a lack of clientele in small town Iowa, Katie's parents are forced to close their store. Her uncle finds her parents' work at a chicken hatchery in Georgia, and so the family is forced to relocate. The description of Moving Day offers hilarious insight into a young family and a bit into Japanese culture. The family runs eight hours behind for reasons quoted in list format on page 19. One, I couldn't find the box with Bera Bera, and I was convinced he was lost. Naturally, I had to have hysterics. For the listener's benefit, Bera Bera is Katie's favorite bunny stuffed animal. Reason two, my parents misplaced their $600. Three, Lynn couldn't find her favorite sweater with embroidered flowers. Naturally, she had to have hysterics. And four, Uncle Katsuma fell asleep, and we thought it would be rude to wake him. Once in Georgia, the whole family's lifestyle change. Katie's parents must work very long hours in the chicken hatchery, while Katie and Lynn attend school. There are only 30 Japanese people in the town they live in in Georgia. Therefore, Katie's family and the other Japanese families are subject to a lot of racial discrimination and prejudice. As the story progresses, we learn about Katie's parents' harsh working conditions and the long hours that they must work to make ends meet for their family. Katie's mother even has to wear a diaper pad while she works because they cannot take unscheduled bathroom breaks. While all of this is going on, there is also pro-union activity and talk amongst the employees. However, Katie's parents are against the union because their employer, or boss, Mr. Linden, is. Also developing in this story is Lynn's character, caught between childhood fantasy with Katie and teen behavior. She is pulled and pushed and becomes more dismissive of Katie. Yet this is just a stage. Lynn becomes ill. Her parents and doctors initially believe it to be anemia and feed her iron pills and liver to try to remedy the situation. However, much later they find out it is lymphoma. By this time, Katie and Lynn's family had grown. Mrs. Takshima had had a son. Katie remembers her mother being pregnant, as described on page 55. Shortly before I started first grade, my mother had started to gain a lot of weight. She peed a lot, she threw up a lot, and she drank a lot of water. She ate weird things like spoonful after spoonful of barbecue sauce. We had to keep several jars of barbecue sauce in the cabinet. My sister sat me down, and after my mind meld with hers, she told me that we were going to have a baby brother. My mother gave birth to Samson Ichiro Takshima while I was in first grade. His middle name means first son. This story is as complex as each of the Takshima family members and their dynamics with each other. I was so happy the story was told from Katie's perspective, as she has a zest and youthful innocence towards life, but also hilarious and peculiar observations with the strong love and loyalty for her family. Truly, this story boils down to how this family reacts, handles, and works through Lynn's sickness and the prejudiced world around them. However, it is not always sad for this tight-knit family. They have many moments of happiness and laughter while they are together. I adored reading this story. I found myself relating to Katie as the main character and then to Lynn as the big sister. I thought the plot was unique. I honestly have never read any literature about Japanese minorities in the Deep South in the 1950s. I thought the writing was witty, simple, and fresh. I would recommend this story to anyone who has a sense of humor or a love or loyalty for their family. 
Kira Kira shines as a Newbery Medal winner, and I am sure will be adored by readers for many years to come. Kira Kira means shining or glittering in Japanese, and that is precisely what the Newbery Medal winning novel by Cynthia Katohara does. The story begins in rural Iowa, where Katie Takshima and her family lives. Her parents run the local oriental grocery store, while Katie spends her time playing with her older sister, Lynn, whom she adores. Truly, this deep connection between sisters brings a youthful lightness and emotional depth to the story. Due to a lack of clientele in small-town Iowa, Katie's parents are forced to close their store. Her uncle finds her parents' work at a chicken hatchery in Georgia, and so the family is forced to relocate. The description of Moving Day offers hilarious insight into a young family and a bit into Japanese culture. The family runs eight hours behind for reasons quoted in list format on page 19. One, I couldn't find the box with Bera Bera, and I was convinced he was lost. Naturally, I had to have hysterics. For the listener's benefit, Bera Bera is Katie's favorite bunny stuffed animal. Reason two, my parents misplaced their $600. Three, Lynn couldn't find her favorite sweater with embroidered flowers.